and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And in this episode, it's the start of the fleet updates. I've got to thank Hubnut for this um, idea, because um, one of my planned videos hasn't gone to plan, and I just watched a fleet update on his fleet. So, this is the first of three fleet updates on the Fabia the Cactus and the Escort and for the Fabia um, I'm going to add this on to the um, video we made last year with the Fabia at 20,000 miles and this is also going to be um, the three fleet members will be joined together in one video later on but I'm just breaking it down at the moment and we're going to start off with the Fabia so this is a 2018 Skoda Fabia on a 67 plate um, registered roughly about the 15th of January 2018 we've had this, we've had this uh, Fabia since brand new and we've covered 26,600 miles so why don't we get into the warmth of the car and we'll just uh, tell you what's happened to the car this year. So we're now in the warmth of the Fabio. So let's do a quick fleet update on the Fabio. Let's tell you how much it's cost to run so far this year. As of the 27th of November, the Fabio has cost us £1,291.37 to run. This is based on fuel, insurance and tax, uh, things we've maybe had to buy for it, and also car parking in, in, in Edinburgh or wherever we've travelled to in this car. So the first thing to note on the Fabia was at, that it was serviced and MOT'd on the 7th of January at 21,611 miles and it passed first time with one advisory, that advisory being a slight misting on one of the dampers which is quite common on Volkswagen Group cars. And as we were told by the garage, it's nothing really to worry about. They all seem to do it. So really the bulk of the mileage of this year took uh, place between January and, uh, not January, July and August of this year. Um, this is really due to fortunate circumstances um, uh, we lost a family member and the car was spent spent a lot of time going between the cactus and this car going between um, Edinburgh and Kirkcaldy uh, every day for the best part of uh, four weeks and um, that's where the bulk of its mileage came up To be fair on this car, this car is the dependable one on the fleet. Um, it's the most reliable one on the fleet. Um, this car has only really had this year a couple of bulbs. And we've had to replace the blower heater resistor um, back in September. Um, but that has been the only real issue we've had with this car. Um, this car... We, we just call it a dependable one in the fleet because all it seems to do is uh, run around the town, do the school run, go on the occasional jaunt, do the occasional tip run on it. So there's not really too much to report on the Fabia apart from it's now at 26,600 miles. It's due to going for its uh, six year service and MOT in early January. Um, fingers crossed 
there's uh, just due to the mileage on it that it'll be again a pass maybe with an advisory um, but this car has not really let us down at all in the last year anyway let's get on to the cactus Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and to Fleet Review number two. So we've already seen the Fleet update for the Fabia. It's now time for the Citroen C4 Cactus. So this is a 2016 on a 16 plate. But I'll turn it on its private plate at the minute. Um, Citroen C4 Cactus Touch. It was registered on the 2nd of May 2016. I purchased the car in April 2022 with approximately 41 42,000 miles on the clock. The car originally comes with steel wheels. Um, you'll probably have seen the car mostly on alloys. But it's back on its steel wheels and all I've done is I've just added a, a little uh, centre cap from a Citroen Berlingo van or a C15 van and just re-sprayed the steel wheels. I actually quite prefer the look of these on the car. As I said I quite like the look of these on the car and I'm considering at the moment whether to sell the alloy wheels that I bought for it um, back in 2022. I've added a little neon light bar to the front of the car and I've also added some roof bars and a luggage tray on the roof bars. It also sports a sunstrip and round to the rear it sports a Kraken Powerbomb exhaust. So why don't we get into inside the car and discuss what's been happening since the last fleet update on this car. So we last done a fleet update when I had done 10,000 miles in this car. Um, current mileage on the car now stands at 56,298 as of the 2nd of January 2024. I've now covered um, 14,499 miles um, in this car since April 2022. So I provide a fleet update, as I said, at 10,000 miles, um, which roughly was about six months ago. So I'm just having a wee look through the... Um, notes that I've made on the car over the year um, and to be quite honest with you not a lot's really been happening with this car apart from it's just been getting the miles up on it and um, the car's proved reliable transport um, only sort of major expense we had towards the end of um, 2023 was the exhaust repairs and the handbrake repairs when the car was serviced and MOT'd back in November. Um, aside from that, the car's just been a daily, my daily car going to work, picking the kids up from school and making various trips um, down to the motorist um, in the summer and just lastly back in December. So not a lot really to report on. It's been pretty reliable apart from the major expense at the end of the year. Um, as I said, we've put the winter wheels back on. Um, we put them back on probably about 700 miles ago. And costs for um, 2022 
uh, sorry, 2023 equate to um, £3,320.65. That's um, including fuel, insurance, um, road exercise duty, and basically other things like um, parking in the town, um, MOT repairs, um, stickers that I've got for this car, car show uh, display parking, and just... Uh, Mainly, it's mainly just uh, parking and little parts that's needed to get. Um, so yeah, total cost running the car over two years, including these um, costs, equate to five thousand five hundred and ninety-eight pounds and twenty-six pence. Future of the cactus on the fleet? Not entirely too sure yet. I'm hoping to get at least another year out of it so probably potentially maybe looking to replace it um, September October um, maybe with something a wee bit quicker um, but I'm not I'm not in a rush to sell this car it's a reliable little daily car gets me to, my, to and from my work it's U.S. compliant um, but my little niggle is that it may need exhaust work again come um, November at MOT time because the garage at done the service and MOT were trying to put the blame on the um, aftermarket exhaust causing issues and I might have to swap back to an original exhaust. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run it again, run this car potentially till September, October and potentially look for a replacement. I'm not I'm not gonna say there's there's nothing wrong with this car. I do like driving this car. Um if you've not driven it in a while, it does put a smile on your face. But that's just a little fleet update on the Citroen C4 Cactus. So uh our next fleet update will be on the Escort. Um I'll try and get that done at some point later in this week or next week and as I said before in the Fabia fleet update video I'm going to piece these videos together to give you a fleet update of 2024 right at the start of 24 um, potentially later in later in January or towards the end of January February I'll have a fleet update of the three cars all together but uh, as, as I've said before, um, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And we'll catch you in a future video very soon. Farewell. and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and it's fleet update number three which is the Ford Escort so let's crack on with a um, fleet update so this is a 1994 Ford Escort LX 1.8 turbo diesel first registered on the 7th of July 1994 It's finished in Nevada Red and the alloys that are on the car I fitted these myself. These are the XR3i dogleg alloys you'd find on a Mark IV Escort. I've just spent a little bit of money um, recently on a nude back tyre on the right hand on the driver's side. We've also replaced the back wiper and we've changed the, plate, uh, the blades on the windscreen for some aero style blades. I know Hubnut won't like that, um, but I do actually quite prefer the aero blades. The car has covered 18,500 miles. 
and it's uh, since 1994. So why don't we get inside the car and discuss it, uh, the car in question. So as I said, outside the car has covered 18,500 miles since 1994. I've covered 990, we're not quite at 18,500, we're only 10 miles off it, but I'm calling it 18,500. So I've covered time of filming 990 miles in this car since October. Um, not a lot to report on the car. Um, basically, it's we're just getting ready for its MOT at the weekend. So we've had the handbrake adjusted. I've bought a new tyre. As I've said in the video, I've bought new windscreen wipers front and rear. Um, hoping if I get a chance to just nip under the car before MOT time, just give it a quick wax oil. Um, but nothing nothing really major to report on the car. Um, you'll find out what the MOT result in a later video. Um, so yeah, costs wise, it's cost me since October £1,350. Um, that includes park... Uh, that doesn't include park. That includes like tires, insurance, tax, um, windscreen wipers. I've had the handbrake adjusted as well. Um, so yeah, it's just in fuel as well. So it's just been that's that's been the sort of cost for the car since October one thousand three hundred and fifty pounds. But apart from that, it's been very quiet on on the front. So we've covered. As I said, we've covered nearly a thousand miles um, and it goes in for its MOT at the weekend. So we'll soon see what happens on Saturday at the weekend, but nothing major to report in this car. It's, it's great to use as a little um, retro daily or retro every couple of days type of car. Um, but no, not a lot to report on this car. Anyway, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and I'll catch you very soon. Farewell.